everyone. Um, it's 12th of February, it's a Monday and it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. So I've just got home from work, changed my trousers, made a cup of tea, you know, important stuff. So I some washing out and I thought I would come and have a little chat with you about what I've been doing. So thank you um, everybody for the kind comments um, on my last video, <coughs> excuse me, about um, the job. Um, I'm a week in, I'm still enjoying it, I'm still training. Um, I've done some parts of the actual job um, on the system. I've been, you know, sort of helping out and stuff just to break up the uh, the training because it does tend to drag a little bit. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So yes, I've I've done some bits and bobs, and everyone's really friendly. Um, I'm enjoying it. It's generally tending to go quite fast because if I'm not on a, a conference training call or or doing a, a of course on the system I'm doing some actual work so it's very good um, I got a text message from the ocean import manager who's actually on maternity leave at the minute she messaged me on Friday just to see how the week was and apologize for not being able to to get in I was like oh, don't apologize spend time with your babies um, but she's back I think she starts back in March I was like, definitely spend time with your babies. Don't, don't worry about me. Hopefully, you've got plenty of time to get to know me. So, but it was really sweet, you know, to for that to happen. So, I am happy, chappy, chappes, just happy. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's good. Now, I have a finished item to show. I have another finished item that I filmed a clip um, of this morning with Jack. So I will pop that in after this I think and then I'll come back and show you my work in progress get me I've just found an end oh honestly I there were so many ends with this blanket so let me show you Ooh, pretty. this is the rainbow hexagon blanket so it is let me come back a little bit see if I can get it all in look why there seems so many ends it's like obviously I know there's lots of motifs but I was like really it just it didn't stop so my border is a little on the um, wavy side which is slightly annoying I oh, perhaps should have gone down the hook size but it's isn't it pretty so I've measured it and it's uh, 40 about 41 inches by um, 45 inches so it's a good size and isn't it just so colourful? So beautiful. No, not not my usual kind of you know, bright, but ah, pretty. So I love it. Uh, it's been washed. I kind of decided that blocking it wasn't going to do that much good, really, because it's all acrylic. It's um, so it's James C. Brett, party time chunky in the shade PT one. And then where's my King Kong? King Cole Big Value Chunky. Can you see that? Um, oh, shade 554 Black. That's how much I had left. I had to order two more bowls. So in the end, I used three and a half of the this party time. There we go. And four and a half of the black of the um, King Cole. I very much like the border. I, I, like I say, I probably should have gone down a hook size for because it's wavy across the top of the hexagons. But how um, it's not Robin's pattern for the border, but she links to another pattern. Obviously, I'll link the um, hexagon blanket blog um, page, uh, and you can see she links to the the border pattern. There we go. I know words. Um, so yeah, it's very good. I like it. Too bad I can get to use it now because I only washed it yesterday. Um, so I will cut here and pop in the video that I filmed with Jack this morning. And then I'll come back and we'll talk about what I'm working on. Back in a second, guys. Hi. Morning, everybody. Um, just a quick snippet I'm going to um, put into a video later on today. Um, but I've made Jack something so we wanted to show you before we went to school. Show you some. I made Jack some mittens to go with his hat. 
So this is the um, Snowfall Mittens pattern. It's not bad. By somebody. <laughs> what is it by? I can't think. It's not bad. It's not Whistle and Ivy, but I'm not entirely sure. I'll link everything below anyway. Um, but yeah, so I made the, I made, I had a spate of making Snowfall hats. I'll just call it Snowball hat then. Uh, snowfall hats. And Mr. had the mittens I made him out of the James C. Brett. Uh, a while ago, but they were getting it. Well, I made them for Tobin, but they were getting a bit small on him. So he kept saying, "Yeah, maybe you're gonna make me some mittens." So when did I take him? I took him swimming on. Uh, took the pattern with me on Wednesday when we went swimming. This we were Tobin's meant to be flap down, but Mum folded. No, no, no. They're meant to be like that. So you make a long cuff <laughs> and fold it up. It's a free pattern. It's very good. Um, and these were. So I was doing these at swimming lesson so it was easy enough to follow and I got the the body of it done uh, that night not all that swimming um, and then got told off because there was no thumb on it and then I had to make a second one but yeah so this is usually no, no um, one told you off you I wanted no thumb on um, the Stylecraft Aaron in at midnight <laughs> and um, whatever you the silver is it may just be silver not graphite no it's not graphite. i think it's just silver um so yes and it matches his hat and it matches my hat and toby's hat doesn't it yeah so you're Make all set now with all toby. your matching this fit toby all his matching what is yeah tobin showed he was like oh i've got like a pair of them like, oh would you now don't know that i've got enough blue but we'll see he wouldn't wear them anyway i'm sure so say bye 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 right i will catch up with you uh, this may be on the end of uh, a video film later because I've got some finished things to show you. Well, a finished thing <laughs> as well as these. So we'll see you later. Bye, guys. Okay, so two finished items. Uh, the mittens have been finished. When I finish them Thursday, but I kind of wanted to do a two for two for one. Um, let's show you. I am making. These are big arms. arms. I was asked to make, it's called the Sweet Unicorn. Sweet Unicorn. Hang on, let me scroll down so you can actually see the photo. Good planning, Kim. Okay, so I was asked to make this unicorn. Yeah, I don't quite know which one they want, what hair to lay out they want. Um, but it's a, a mum at school whose kids, whose daughter had, oh, she's had every every kind of unicorn I've made. They've had one or two of, of it. So the little unicorns I made, um, was it the summer fair? I think they had like five of them off me. Or they bought all my unicorns. And then between her and a friend, I think she's got a sister as well. And then the unicorn macaroons, yes, they had them too. Um, so I had to buy the pattern, it's a paid for pattern on Etsy, I will link it below. Um, it's not the cheapest pattern, but it's like 18 pages long and it's good so far. Um, that's a leg. I can't remember how many rows, about 40 rows the leg is. Um, there's my oh, second leg. So I'm back on the Amagurumi, uh, which I haven't done, I haven't made one all year, so. Oh yeah, it's February, but for me that's that's a long time. So, yeah, working on that. It should be, you know, going by that. Obviously, you join the legs. I think I'm almost there on this one. Then you join them up and carry on. Uh, this will be interesting. It's joined with safety eyes. Then my safety eyes are in and waiting to be joined to the body when I made it. So I should get some work done on that now. Really, uh, I'll do some stuff on the computer. Check my emails and things. I am. Um, last week was busy, considering it was my first week back. There was still, you know, a uh, trip to the library and sorting out, fitting in, seeing my sister. And we had doctors or something last week. I don't know. We had swimming last week. Just things, and I didn't. I had no brain capacity for things. I was too busy with work and. So it was, it was tiring last week. I mean, I'm only working an extra day. So, it, but the work itself is not not bad. It's just fitting everything in afterwards, um, and we 
we were going out Saturday, so anything that I would have left to do at the weekend, I couldn't. So it was a bit like, oh, get everything done. Yes, yeah, so I've got to fetch boys early from school today because I've got a dentist appointment. Oh, I just noticed something on the windowsill. It looks like one of our ornament things is broken, so I'll have to go and investigate that. Hmm. Anyway, sorry, distraction. So yeah, things are good, just, you know, blur. Too, too much going on. But um, that will be my screenshot, by the way. <laughs> the blur. <laughs> that will be the one they pick. I will change it. So, small yarn creators hashtag. We are getting close to the deadline, which is the 20th of February. So we've got what, just over a week. Um, I've reached my 4,000 hours views. So thank you so much. It's amazing. I've just actually reached my payment threshold as well. Woo! So I'm going to get some money. I'm going to have to buy some yarn, aren't I? Because I've still got the money that uh, for the blanket that I need. That would be quite a bit of money. I need to fix my yarn buying bone. It's broken. I look at stuff and I'm like, eh. Spend the money, woman. Anywho, so randy of random randy's ramblings is close to the thousand subscribers so if you don't already subscribe to her, please 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 go on over there and show us some love and hit that subscribe button it, it, she does so much stuff it's she's incredible so she'll do uh readings like audio not audio books but she'll do um readings of, of texts that she likes. She's a, uh, an author in her own right. Uh, I've read one of her books and I'm reading the second one now. Saucy mix. Um, yeah, she does crochet tutorials. She does sit and crochet with me. I love those videos. I just love hanging out with her and, and crocheting while she's you know talking about her life. Um, so yeah, head over to Randy. Check out her channel. Show some love. And also, uh, Sean of Sean's Crafty Corner is very close to, I believe, very close to the thousand subscriber limit. I'm not quite sure. I tell you what, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, I don't know if I better call order on him. Hang on one second. Bear with me, caller. Oh, God, I subscribe to so many people. There she is. What are we on, Sean? Oh, 927 go people go yep go go check her out um she makes stuff for charity she knits and crochets she accidentally buys yarn from aldi don't we all i haven't this time though see yarn buying bone broken it's been removed like in harry potter <laughs> i need some skelly grow or something it's gone gone so yes uh, those are the two I can think of off the top of my head. Um, I know Ella, Ella says she got, she's nearly at 600 subscribers. Ella is no catchy name. So let's, uh, you know, one final push and see if we can get some people over the limit uh, for the 20th. Just so they don't have to, you know, faff and reapply. Because they're, they're good channels. They, you know, they deserve to be bigger than they were when YouTube put these things in place. But if we can help propel them up there then please do so uh, I will add a few more in the links below obviously I'll, I'll link Randy and Sean but um, I'll link some more below because I can't think at the, you know my brain just goes names you don't know names yeah. so I think that's all I've got to tell you really um, I don't know what I'll be doing after the unicorn probably more unicorns <laughs> I have a feeling once I put a picture up I'm going to be making unicorns for a while. But like I say, I'll link that pattern below if any of you are interested in it. Yeah. And then I need to make some baby stuff for my sister. I mean, she's not due to April, but we're in February already. So I need to make a start on that. There is the Call the Midwife blanket that I suppose I should finish with my friend. But it's either compromise and buy yarn from somewhere that sells that kind of yarn. Or order what I'm going to order and chuck baby on on it and just rip that out. Don't know. Don't rightly know. Anyway, I've waffled for long enough. I need to actually go and get something done before I fetch the kids, not just sit here.
talking at you. I'm sure you've got things to do too. Even if it's just watch somebody else's video, which is what I'm going to do when I'm finished here. There are so many videos, I'm so behind. <laughs> and I'm trying to watch the Olympics as well. Because I love figure skating. Love it, love it, love it. Um, so I'm trying to make sure my TV records everything it should do. Because it's taken to not recording some basketball games. Because, you know, who you? And it's always ours. It's always our team. It's like, why didn't I record that? Why? Um, it didn't record the game properly um, when we beat the Golden State Warriors the other day. I got to see a bit of the catch up, but yeah, I would have liked to have watched that game in full. Anyway, sorry, basketball. We um, support uh, or follow the Oklahoma City Thunder because we love Russell. Um, you know. So, yes, I, uh, I'm enjoying the ice skating, trying to catch up with that as much as I can and watch people's videos. <laughs> it's good your mum's not doing a video a day. There's no time. Um, yes. I will stop waffling at you. I'm very sorry. Look how pretty it is. I highly, highly, highly recommend this blanket. It's great. And you can make it as big as you want. And my watch is stuck on it. And this yarn is beautiful. Um, this, the King Cole, the one I keep forgetting, big value, chunky. Slightly strange in that it feels like, I don't know, slightly crimped or it's just the way it's made. It's okay. It's not as nice as the Juicy Bray. But anyway, it's all washed lovely. It feels nice and soft. And I can't wait to use it. Really going to go now. So, I hope you've all had a great weekend. I hope you have something nice planned this week. Uh, are you eating lots of pancakes tomorrow? Pancake day. Paul's actually going to do tea. And he's going to make pancakes. Because I've been replaced as pancake maker. I'm not upset by this. <laughs> I don't like making pancakes. I like eating pancakes, so that works out better for me. And I, pff, do you do Valentine's Day? I've apparently got a card. Well, I know I've got a card. He bought it at shopping yesterday. I was like, you buy me? Does that mean I have to buy you a present? He's, no, it just doesn't mean I have to buy you a card. <laughs> I shouldn't have to buy a card to show my love, and he, he doesn't have to at all. It's not. It's, we're not like that. Um, I pick his pants up off the floor. That's that's enough love and devotion for. <laughs> that should be enough love and devotion for anybody. Me pick my dirty kegs up off the floor. Yes, lovely. I'm really gonna go. Can you tell I've missed you? <laughs> right. So um, yeah, be good. If you buy anything, tell me where you bought it from so I can go and have a look. Um, I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.